Oh. I know I don't know what happened with this heavy rain. So sorry, okay, for the situation, but it was not my fault. Do you listen to me? Yes. Okay, I need you to say hi to make sure that we are good evening. Okay, good evening, everyone. So sorry. Okay, but you know, with this heavy rain and there are some trees that fell down, we are in this situation. Okay, so um some of your partners are still in their way home. Algunos de sus compañeros aún están en camino a, a su casita, así es que eh, van a ingresar un poquito tarde. Ya estuvieron ustedes, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver acá. Ok. Ya estamos todos conectados. Ok, great. Huh. Let's see. And Mario, Mario was here with me at the beginning. Maybe he lost the connectivity. I'm going to, to call him. Good night, good night. Hello, good evening. Good. <clears throat> well, thank you. Thank you for being here and good evening, Carla Daniela, Noe Vladimir, Luquita, Eric Enrique, Rose del Carmen, Alexandra Michelle, Julissa Villalta, Jose Mauricio. All of you are really welcome to the class and we are going to get started from this moment on. Okay. So, uh, Okay, Mario is saying that he's coming back. So I'm going to start sharing my screen with you and then we can speed up, but I'm going to before I leave it, okay? Uh, did you do the homework? Do you remember I assigned you a homework yesterday at the end of the class? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Happy face, yes, okay. Carla Daniela says, yes, teacher, I did it. And Noé, did you do the homework? Shame on you, shame on you. Eric Enrique Vasquez, your camera, what happened with the camera? Did you do the homework? Ah, you're having dinner, okay. Enjoy it for me. So tell me, did you do your homework? Hizo su tarea? Ah. Yes, sí. Okay, eh, the manual, the one in the manual, the, the five. Mira, revise, revise si, <laughs> cuánto porcentaje llevo, porque me puse a hacer unas, unas tareas ahí, pero vi que, Se pueden hacer hasta por adelantado a las clases. Yes, of course. That's it. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Congratulations. ¿Cuánto? No, pero yo, yo me Thank refiero you. a la tarea que se les asignó anoche, ¿verdad? Sobre eh, las cinco, cinco duties or activities, obligations that you have to do at work. Cinco <laughs> actividades que realizan en el trabajo. ¿Se recuerdan? Mm -hmm. sí. Okay, great. Excellent. So here we go, Griselda del Carmen, welcome. Jocelyn, hello, Mario Eduardo. Remember to activate your cameras because the administration every day reminds you, okay, about the, the camera and your names also because it is a requisite. Uh, we were saying hello, Mario, and then it went. And I said, in four minutes, we are going to get started. Le estaba diciendo, en cuatro minutos iniciamos, pero ahí... Un mensaje de internet unstable, inestable el inter y tuvimos ese problemita, pero ya estamos acá. Ok, let's be positive. So let's get started and later on we're going to check the, the homework. Ok, and here. Ok, from the very beginning and... Let's remember that this is English for Work program, basic module one. And today is our class number seven. Mm -hmm. Very soon we're in the 50%. Muy pronto estaremos en el 50%, okay? And then here, our video conference number seven, greetings as every day. We're going to go over the feedback. We're going to read the objectives and you're going to be describing 
my daily routine and also to describe my daily routine at work. You're going to describe your daily routine at home and your daily routine at work. And we're going to be focusing on describing my job on, uh, at work at page 24 and then the wrapping up. So one volunteer to help me reading the objectives for today. Only one, one volunteer. Hello, raise your hand. I need your hands up. Who is going to help me reading? Only one, no. I'm going to choose the volunteer then because you need to practice. Ooh, what happened? Okay, so who is going to help me reading? Uh, I don't know if uh, Abel is available or maybe Lupita. Okay, Guadalupe, are you available to help us reading the objectives? Yes. Nos va a ayudar a leer los objetivos, Guadalupe. Okay, I'm going to show them to you, yes, Guadalupe. Miss. Thank you for volunteering, for saying me, teacher. Okay, the specific objective first and the uh, class objective, okay? Begin, please, yes. Guadalupe. Yes, miss. Okay, read the specific objective. Leanos los objetivos. Okay. Uh, participant will be able to ask parents parent question about their daily uh, routines. No, no, routines. Si no, le, no lograba ver la última parte. And the class objective? This one? At, at the at the end of the class participant will be able to ask yes, no questions and short answers. Very well, thank you. So the specific objective for today's lesson is that you as participants will be able Okay, will be able to ask your partners questions about their daily routines. And specifically for today's class, it is expected that when we finish the class, at the end of the class, all of you as participants will be able to ask yes, no questions, okay? Uh, but in the simple present tense. So here we go. Just reminding you, Today is our class number seven. So in week number two, today you have to finish homework number two for this week, okay? Because remember for every day there is a homework. Recuerden que para cada día hay una tarea que tienen que ir completando para que no se les acumule, ¿verdad? Y no se sientan estresados eh, para el último día, okay? Y recuerden que tienen que ir tratando de avanzarlo porque, uh, Para la clase 10 van a tener que haber completado el midterm exam, okay? Un examencito corto que está ahí también. So, uh, my advice is during the day or after the class, if your connectivity is uh, good, go over the homework. And here we're going to work as a class. Let's brainstorm and share with the class what you remember we worked on yesterday activities or something that you remember we practiced yesterday. ¿Qué, ¿Qué trabajamos ayer? Recordamos lo que trabajamos ayer. Occupation, other occupation. Okay, we were working on? Occupation. Occupations, very well. Occupations. Okay, what else? What else did you do? Do you remember? ¿Qué más hicieron ayer en los breakout groups? The using of the present tense. Ok, simple present tense, simple present tense. Yeah, and in the simple present tense, we work with affirmative. Yes, and negative 
statements. Yes? Do you remember? Affirmative and negative statements. Very well. Okay, so here we have a little feedback on what we did yesterday. The uses of the simple present tense. Los usos del presente simple lo establecimos ayer. ¿Recuerdan? For repeated actions or habits. For example, I play basketball. So I am in the habit of playing basketball. She does not play soccer. Mm -mm. Okay. So it is not a thing for her. And then for the questions, does he play basketball? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Those are the yes, no questions, right? Se recuerdan que también dijimos ayer que las um, yes, no questions uh, son las preguntas que pueden ser contestadas de forma afirmativa o negativa, ¿sí? Muy bien. The bus leaves every morning at 6 a.m. So every morning, todas las mañanas a las 6 en punto. Por eso es repeated actions and so on. So here we continue and we have facts or generalizations. Yes. Uh, the simple present can also be used to describe what the speaker believes that a fact was true before or is true now. Para hechos reales o generalizaciones que las personas creemos, que puede ser que viene desde antes en el presente o va a continuar. Uh -huh. For example, cats like milk. Pero le voy a compartir acá esta imagen más amplia por las personas que no lo pueden, o que están en teléfono. Okay, so here is what I was telling you, okay? I play basketball, she does not play soccer, affirmative and negative statements, what we worked with yesterday, lo que trabajamos ayer, okay? Affirmativas y negativas, does he play basketball? Interrogative sentences, the bus leaves every morning at 6 a.m. The bus does not leave at 7 a.m. She always forgets her lunch. He never forgets his code. This is for repeated actions. But here, for facts or generalizations, everybody knows that cats like milk. So facts, hechos, hechos reales, o generalizaciones, lo que la gente ya da por sentado. Cats like milk. Parrots do not like milk. Negative statement. Um, los loros o las loras do not like milk. No les gusta la leche. Do dogs like milk? Y si yo les pregunto, do dogs like milk? Your answer is, yes, they do or no, they don't. A los perros les gusta la leche. Yes, they do or no, they don't. Hello, it depends. It depends. It depends on what, miss? If they are puppies. If they are puppies, yes. Mm -hmm. But suddenly as they are growing, yeah, they turn into carnivores. Yeah, they prefer to eat uh, meat, but it depends also, right? Because if you give uh, dog food, no problem. And then we have another fact, San Salvador is not in Europe. Doors are made of wood, that is a generalization. Windows are not made of wood, that is another generalization. And Zacatecoluca is a small city, for example, is a fact that we know. Now here we have hmm, a schedule events in the near future. We also worked on this, if you remember, yes or no, también trabajamos esto. And we said that we use the simple present to talk about the schedule events in the near future. Usamos el presente simple para hablar de eventos que ya están programados y se van a desarrollar en un futuro cercano. Por ejemplo, the plane leaves today at 8 p.m. The class starts at 8 p.m. The bus does not arrive at 7 a.m. It arrives at 9 p.m. Entonces acá son eventos programados para un futuro muy, muy cercano. The celebration starts at seven o'clock, but today. When does the class begin tomorrow? It starts at 8 p.m., okay? So this is what we did yesterday. And now here, 
we were building sentences for repeated actions or routines, for events, for general facts or truths. For example, vegetables are, are healthy. Children do not like vegetables. Children like candies. And for generalizations, we have here, the sun shines, the night is dark. Young people love video games. Teenagers love technology. Old people are afraid of changes, especially if they are technological changes. Yes? And now, okay, we move over here. What is your daily routine? There is, this is one question, but before we go over this question, okay, I'm going to check your homework. Are you ready with your homework? Let me see. Okay, here. This is, where is it? Where is the homework? Homework, homework, over here, okay? Activities I do. I ask you to write five activities that you do at work. Yes? Do you remember that? And that is at page 20. Did you do it? That is why I ask mm -hmm. you from the very beginning, okay? One, two, three, four, five activities because you have different occupations. You work in different companies. So that is the reason why um, you have to share this information with your classmates. But before we go over the breakout rooms in order to, to share this info, we are going to check your attendance for today, okay? So I'm gonna give you, while I am checking the attendance and taking your attendance, if you didn't finish this homework, please go ahead and do it, okay? Cameras on, please, if it is possible. So here we go. Abel? Present teacher. Okay. Thank you for activating the camera. Alexandra Michel? Present, Miss. Okay. Carlos is absent, David Daniel is absent. Eric Enrique Vasquez, Chanes. Present. Thank you. Eric Fernando Castellón Merlos. He, okay, he told us his mother passed away. And Eric Ismael, Ismael. Maybe a problem with the connectivity because of the heavy rain. Griselda, hello Griselda. Present, okay. Okay. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss. We appreciate that, okay? Thank you. Okay, Javier, no, Javier Ignacio. Jocelyn, Jocelyn, hello Jocelyn. Present. Great, Miss. Thank you. Jose Mauricio. Present. Thank you. Julissa Jamilet. Present. Carla Daniela. Present. Okay, great. Carla Elizabeth. Absent. She is disability. Catherine is here. Kelly, absent. Mario. Present. Okay, great. Mayra, Alejandra. I don't know what happened to her. Noé Vladimir. Present. Thank you, Noé. Rose, Rosa del Carmen. This is a real situation because she's absent by now. Hmm. Ruth Guadalupe. Present. Okay, your favorite is Guadalupe, right? Lupita, yes or no? Not Ruth, your favorite is Lupita. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, class, now we're going to move to the breakout rooms and you are going to read your your five 
activities that you perform at work, okay? The homework, because that is information is going to be very useful in the next activities. Let's verify how many students. Okay, I'm going to create. And here we go. Please go to your groups, okay? Go to your groups and read your activities, okay? I need in group number two, Abel. I need Alexandra Michelle and Ruth Guadalupe. Ruth, go to group number two, please. Abel, we need you if it is possible in Ruth Guadalupe. Go to your groups. Please, I have a question. Yes, miss. Yes, miss, tell me. It's okay, uh, my sentence. I stop my fabric furniture. Como surto mi mueble, las cosas que tengo allí. ¿Cómo lo puedo decir? O es supply. Supplies, because it is at work. In general, okay. supplies. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold it because uh, Kelly, hi. she lost the connectivity and she was about to log in. Kelly. Pero ahí es el de cada quien, ¿verdad? Solo es a leerlos. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí, solo no me, no me cuesta. Okay, okay. <laughs> See you. I need to check the other groups. Thank you. Okay, here what happened. Hmm. Okay. See you later. Y tengo mi manual conmigo. Mm, vaya. Si, ajá, y si no voy a, voy a compartir las mías. Ah, vaya, ahí está. Primero. Uh, quiero ver. Ya la ven. Sí. Ah, uh, pero cada quien tiene que leer sus, sus actividades, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher, yo esta para... Es, ajá, sí, pero esta, esta es la mía. la mía. Ok, great. Ajá, eh, bueno, no sé si yo escribí bien las cosas, teacher. Uh, pero... I make calls, I make calls, I take calls very well. I make Excel formats, uh, make documents of proposal for clients, okay? Management of social media and email. Yes, that's correct. I manage social media and email. I manage social media and email. They are correct. <coughs> eh, ¿Está bien o lo corrijo? Yes, you have to correct the last one. Man, no, but here management is okay. But when you read them, you don't say I management. No, you say I manage, manage. Mm. That's okay. You oh. eliminate M, E, N, T. Elimina M, E, and T, okay. M, yeah, that's it. I manage social media, eliminate off. Eliminate off, I manage social media and email. Very well. Uh, así. Yes, I manage. Sí, porque mm. yo, okay, yo manejo eso. Uh, yo manejo redes sociales y cor correo sería, ¿verdad? Yeah, that's it. Okay. I work on that. Bye. Now the voice. And you. Miss? Yes? What's the correct form to say uh, we drink coffee? Or, or we say I take a coffee? I have a coffee. Ah, este niño, Mario. <laughs> Interesante. Uh, I, I, have, have I have breakfast. I have a cup of coffee. Yeah, uh -huh. I have a cup of coffee. Because if we say I have a coffee, it's very, very Spanish. Too much Spanish. Uh -huh. Like uh -huh. if we are transferring. 
but I, I have a cup of coffee or I take a cup of coffee. Like you say, I take a break, I take lunch, yes? Or I have lunch. I take lunch. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. I play video games on the morning. I listen music every day. I read a book. I wake up at seven. Seven a.m. or seven p.m. A.m. <laughs> <laughs> Bien, ¿no? En este, en este <laughs> armario, like that. Bien, ¿no? <laughs> en este inter está haciendo estrago con... Sí, con viste, este. este internet, fíjese que por, por rato es por la mí, lluvia, se me por desconecta. La lluvia. Sí. Ajá, se me sale de la plataforma, se me vuelve a conectar. Y le, le escribí a Jocelyn, le esperaremos porque hasta este momento lo vi. So sorry, sí, Jocelyn, sí. but you are back. Y no, quien no, está no, teniendo no. problema es Rosa del Carmen, le cuesta ingresar. Sí. Mm -hmm. yo but yo it is because of the rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it was like a little hurricane, right? Yes. And there are some trees that fell down. Okay, but now let's take advantage of the connectivity. Okay. And you tell me when you finish, okay? Okay. Bye. Okay. Número 5. Uh -huh. I supervise the to do less of the residents of the house. Okay, I supervise, supervise the, the uh, to the schedule, to, schedule, schedule of the residents of the house. Okay, of the residents of the house. Of the I get the of schedule the of the residents of the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Supervise los horarios de los habitantes. Yes, de uh -huh. excellent. I supervise mm -hmm. the schedules of the residents of the house. Okay. Very well. Okay, okay and now? Okay. No. Yo ya compartí las cinco. No, 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 no es, no, it is only reading, ok, it is only reading. Your activity. Solo de leer. Yes, only reading, because later okay. you are going to go deeper into those activities, ya. Yeah? Ok. Ok, so did Alexandra Michelle read the sentences. Todos leyeron ya las oraciones. No, solo Ruth. No. Solamente yo. Oh, why? Ok, continue. Ok. Eh, voy a continuar yo. Eh, okay. I make reports. Yo hago reportes. I have meetings. Eh, tengo reuniones. I have meetings every day. Prácticamente todos los días. Uh, I buy continuator. Está bien, teacher. I buy, I buy. I buy containers. Containers. Usted compra los contenedores. Yes. Uh, and what do they contain? Mm -hmm. ¿Y qué contiene? Todo variado. <laughs> es como trabajo en Premium Center. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I buy the containers. Uh -huh. It is about clothes, you know? Okay, uh -huh. everything related to clothes, shoes, and okay, excellent. Sí. Accessories, good. Sí, eh, soy del, bueno, prácticamente mi, mi trabajo es comprador. Ah, oh, okay. Tendría que ser. As a salesperson. 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 Because you are in charge of the purchases, purchases, compras, purchases. Okay, purchases. 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 I'm going to write it for you okay. right now over here. Mm -hmm. Purchases. 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 Singular purchase without S. Mm -hmm. 
plural purchases, compras. Okay, purchases. Uh -huh. Okay, continue. Okay. Uh, I send emails. I tell to people. Okay. My cinco activities. My five activities. My five activities. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now continue. Uh, Abel, because Alexandra is still in, in, in her way home. Mm -hmm. Okay, Abel. Okay. Okay. Sure. Uh, okay. I cleaning I clean in the office. Reviso de tal. <laughs> Check invoices, but you don't have to tell them in Spanish and English. I check invoices. Es, es que no sé, no sé, no sé cómo se, no sé cómo decirlo. Invoices, decir invoices, but that's why it was a homework. Por eso se les asignó como tarea. So you could check in the dictionaries. Okay. Es que lo que, lo que pasó fue que, que no le entendí. O sea, cuando dijo que tareas, pensé que se refería a la actividad de la plataforma, porque esas son las que he hecho. Okay. I check invoices of the heavy equipment. I check, uh, I prepare, I prepare invoices, invoices of the heavy equipment. I manage the, uh, the distribution of materials. Analyze the database. I analyze the database, yes? Analyze the database. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay. Porque si estábamos eh, como tratando de que este ponerlas y después traducírselas para que las pudiera tener. Okay, analyze the database. Uh, uh, ¿Qué tipo de, de, de materiales distribuye? Materiales para construcción. Ah, ok. Yo trabajo en un proyecto de okay, okay. carretera I, y obras. Ah, ok, I manage the distribution of the um, of building materials. Distribution of ¿Cómo? building, 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 construcción. Building materials. Uh -huh. Building materials. Building materials. Building materials. <laughs> building materials. Material. Eso es todo, building build yeah. material. Por... Yes. And what about you listen? The... Teacher, tuve problemas, no sé. Creo no, para mí. Need... No, Julissa, but did you, <coughs> you, did you share your activities? Yes. Your five activities? Yes. yes. Okay. And Eric also, and Jose Mauricio is still on the street. Mm -hmm. Hola, oh, my ah, ok, no problem, take it easy, no problem, take it easy, ok. Sí. Uh, I am asking you because we need to get back to the main session room, ok, to use this information, ok. Ok, but hold it because uh, Carla Daniela is asking for my help. So now maybe Jose Mauricio can tell you about his activities at work, ok. Eh, me estaba dando error en la tarea seis. Ay, que tenía que ponerles un punto al final de la. I have always told you if you don't at the full stop it it is incorrect. Yes. En todas las plataformas y en Google en todos los exámenes que hagan it is grammatically incorrect because it means that the sentence is not finished. Eso indica que la oración no ha terminado. Okay. Yes, Carla Daniela finished. Yes, we finished. Okay, great. Now we're going to get back. Okay, because you are going to use this information in the other activities. Okay, let's wait for the other partners. Yeah. 
Let's see who else. Oh, I have a group number one still working, Eric, Jose Mauricio, and Julissa. Ruth and Jocelyn are still in their groups, but the platform is going to bring them back in a couple of seconds, okay? Let's wait for Eric, Jose Mauricio. They are still in, okay, everybody's back. Okay, class, very good. Now listen. Okay. Over here, activities I do, the activities that you do at work. Now that you have those activities, you are going to go over this other activity, the one that I told you, okay? What is your daily routine? And for example, you can say, this is the question you are going to ask in the groups. What is your daily routine? And it could be probably because it is in general, okay? We're going to go over this practice. What is your daily routine? And for instance, you may say, mm, I wake up at 5 a.m. I get up at 5.05 or at 5.05 5 a.m. I take a shower at 5.10 a.m. I get dressed at 5.25 a.m. Or I have breakfast at 6 a.m. I go to work at 6.30 a.m. This is just as illustration. And I want you to tell me what is the difference between wake up and get up. Do you know the difference between... Um, I wake up is uh, despertar. Yeah, when the alarm... Okay, rings, mm -hmm. and you open your eyes, that is wake up. Okay. But usually we wake up and we stay five or 10 minutes in bed, yes? And mm -hmm. then we get up. We get up from the bed, probably at five, five, especially these days that it has been raining, right? You don't want mm -hmm. to leave your bed because mm, it is so mm -hmm. comfortable. And then probably I take a shower. Okay, this is just an example. Before you go to work, this is a routine, a daily routine before you go to work. Because when you get uh, to your workplace, you say, I, I go to work at 6.30 a.m. But you say, I get to work or I arrive to my work at 7 a.m. at 7.30, at 8 a.m. or at 8.30, at 9. I don't know about your schedule, okay? So this is the question. What is your daily routine? And you have to mention, for example, four or five activities that belong to your daily routine. It can be before you go to work or when you get to work, okay? Is it clear? Yes, the question is, what is your daily routine? So now we move to the breakout rooms and here we go. Let's get back. Okay, go to your groups and begin only speaking, not writing, only speaking, okay? Go to your groups and work. Kelly, hello. Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, Kelly, you're going to be working in group number one. Okay, welcome. Okay, Miss. Okay. Did you receive the invitation? Yes. Group number one. Okay, Kelly. Group number one. Thank you. Entonces, alguna palabra va a ser con... Ok, hello class, Kelly is part of this group, ok, from this moment on. So here you are, Jose Mauricio, Julissa Villalta, Kelly, and Eric. So the question is, what is uh, your daily routine? And you mentioned some activities before you get to work, ok, or when you get to work. Is that clear? I, uh, you may say, I never have breakfast at home. Porque hay gente que nunca desayuna en casa. Yes? Or I have breakfast at work. Yeah? I have maybe a coffee break at 10. Si es que tienen un receso a las 10 de la mañana. 
Yeah. No. Okay, it is it is just an idea, okay? Use your oh, your <laughs> your own reality, but real activities. Bye bye. 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 Pero casi es eso. Casi es lo mismo. I get up y I get up. I wake up when you open your eyes ah, and you I stop think. the alarm. That is wake up. And get up is when you say goodbye to the bed and you go to the shower. Yeah. To, okay. to finish your waking up. Yeah. <laughs> As a therapy, <laughs> you take a shower. So that is the difference between wake, I wake up. up. I wake up. I wake up. Wake up. I wake up. Okay. okay. Uh, wake up. And the other one, get, get up. Okay. I okay. wake up at 6 a.m. I get up at 6 um, 15. Y le agregas la hora del almuerzo. Y al final, I take us. The, I take the bus en el bus que te vas y cuando regresas a casa. I'm going to to qué? My house. No I sé, algo to, así cuando regresas a tu casa. I get I'll back, back home. Back. I get back. Uh, I get I back. Get, but, but listen, when you say I get back home, it is when you, the time when you are home. Because if you say, I leave, I leave my work, salgo de mi trabajo, salgo de trabajar, yes? Okay, so there is a difference. I'm going to share my screen with you for a while. When we say, mm, I leave my work at, okay? Salgo de mi trabajo a, <clears throat> or, I get back home at, <clears throat> it means that you are home. Acá ya estamos en casa, okay? So here is when you leave work because you're going home. And here is when you are at home. I get back home, regreso a casa at, because you are. Mm -hmm. Here, the first one, I leave my work when you say goodbye, office, see you tomorrow. Yeah, and get back home. Hello, home. Hello, house. Hello, family. I am here. I am back. So get back home. Okay. Okay. Bye. Oh, chica, again. Yeah. Yo no puedo desayunar temprano. Teacher. Yes, sir. Eh, Happy go. day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations, teacher. <laughs> okay, on your day. And it was spectacular because of the heavy rain. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for your greeting. Excellent. Okay, I appreciate that. And now okay. tell me, did you finish saying your 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 daily routine? Yes. Malta Ruth. Okay, Ruth. Okay. Uh, I I wake no way up at uh, five a.m. Five o'clock a.m. I have, I have, I get, get, I get, get okay, get, I get, no, get up, get up. I get up, get up, I get up at uh, five o'clock I am. <laughs> Immediately. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are one of the just a few people, yes? Because, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, continue. I take a, a shower at uh, five, um, five, no, 
Yes. Oh. At five and a quarter, at five ten, or at five thirty. Cinco y cuarto, no sé cómo se At five fifteen, five fifteen. At five fifteen a.m. Uh -huh. I had uh, dressed at uh, five thirty a.m. I get dressed. No, I get, 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 I no. get. Okay. excellent. I get. I get dressed at uh, five thirty a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I, I get uh, breakfast at seven seven o'clock a.m. The only thing is that would be better if you say, I have breakfast. I have okay. breakfast. I have breakfast. Okay. Very good. Okay, Alexandra is still in, in the traffic jam. Todavía está en el tráfico, Alexandra. Okay, now let's move to our main session room because this information is going to be used. Okay, so you see, we are building, yeah? the activities one over the other. Okay, Alexandra, we're going to wait for you. Okay, here we go. Let's wait. Okay. Others. Group number three is still working. Jocelyn, Carla, Daniela, Mario, and Rose. But they are coming soon in a couple of seconds. Okay. Here they are. Okay, class, now that you have had that first part of the activity, here we go. This is ask a classmate, what is your daily routine? And now what do you do on weekends? This is a question. You have to answer one, uh, you have to answer this question by saying one activity that you do on weekends, okay? Saturday and Sunday. Uh, what do you do on weekends? I'm going to be asking. Um, <clears throat> here we go. Mario, Mario Eduardo, Ramos Martinez, what do you do on weekends? Everybody uh, gets ready with the answer, okay? At least one activity that you do on weekends, okay, Mario? I work. I work mm, no, no, all, no, no. all day long or in the morning, Saturday morning? In the morning. I work I, in the morning. Saturday morning. I work in the Saturday morning. Okay. I work Saturday morning. Yes. Work Saturday morning. Yes. Okay. Now, Mario, you ask the question to another classmate. What do you do on weekends? You say the name of the person. The question goes to? Mm, Noé. Okay, Noah. Okay. Mm. What do you do on weekends? Noé, what do you do on weekends? Uh, I work. I work and send emails. I work, okay, sending emails. Thank you. Now, Noe, you say the question to another classmate, but say the name. The question goes to? Okay. Um, Jose Mauricio, what do you do on the week? Weekends. Uh, what Saturday do you do Sunday. on the weekends? Okay, what do you do on weekends? 
de micrófono, José Mauricio. Ay, perdón. <ríe> Pensé que estaba activo. I get, get up at uh, eh, 8 a.m. Ok. Ok, I get up at 8 a.m. Very well, thank you. Uh, now, Jose Mauricio, you ask the question to another classmate. Eh, mm, sería Kelly. Kelly? Hello. Ok, ask the question. Eh, ay, se me olvidó <laughs> cómo preguntar. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do on weekends? What do you do on weekends? No, listen, listen. What do you do on weekends? What do you do? Do you do on weekends? weekends? No, on, on week weekends. On weekends. Kelly? Get up. 6 a.m. I get up at 6 a.m. Now, okay. Kelly, you ask the question to another classmate. Tengo the que elegir uno. Yes, yes, your question goes to. Okay. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Alexandra Michelle. Okay, Alexandra. Here's a question for you. Okay. Uh, what do you do on weekends? Alexandra Michelle, are you available to answer? It seems that she is not available because she is in, in her way home. Ask the question to Jocelyn, maybe, or to Ruth Guadalupe or, or Carla Daniela or Rose or Eric Vasquez, or Abel, or Julissa. Rose. Rose, you're the victim. Okay, Rose, answer the question. Kelly, repeat the question, please. What do you do on weekends? <clears throat> Uh, I I take a bus at five a.m. <clears throat> On weekends, Miss. El fin yeah. de semana, Miss. Oh, you uh, work on weekends. Uh -huh. uh, weekends. <laughs> and we were like, oh my god. <laughs> so in Sunday, imagine. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay. I I have a breakfast at 7 a.m. Okay, thank you. Now you ask the question, Rose. What do you do okay. on weekends? The question goes to um, um, you may ask Carla Daniela, Ruth Guadalupe, Abel, Eric Enrique, Julissa. <laughs> Julie, Julissa. Yes. Okay, Julissa, what do you do on weekends? I take dance class. Um, yeah. Sí, así se dice, tomo clases yes, yes, de baile. Yes. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cómo se dice cuido, teacher? I take care. Uh, I take care of my baby. Ah, okay, great, very well, excellent. And now you miss ask the question to another classmate. Okay. Um, Abel. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Abel, what do you do on the weekends? I. Take a shower at 6 a.m. At 6 a.m. Okay, now Abel ask the question to Eric Enrique, uh, Carla Daniela, or Ruth Guadalupe. Uh, Carla Daniela. 
I'm the victim. Yes, I'm the victim. <laughs> yeah. Carla, Daniela, what do you do on weekend? I cook something delicious to lunch on Sunday. Oh, okay, great, <laughs> excellent. Will invite us someday to the class <laughs> virtually. Okay, and now, Carla, Daniela, your potential victims are Ruth Guadalupe, Eric, Enrique. Mm -hmm. Eric. Yes. Okay. Bueno, <laughs> sí, I am volunteering. <laughs> Solo, solo una pregunta, ¿y qué es weekend? Fines de fin semana. De semana. Ah, Weekends, okay. fines de semana. Weekends, fin fines de continue. semana. <laughs> ok. okay. Eric, what do you hola, hola. do on weekends? ¿Qué haces el fin de semana? Trabajo, is work. I work, I work. I, in the I morning work. and in the afternoon or only in the morning? Uh, no, 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 ¿Solo no. en la mañana o todo el día trabajo? Eh, todo el día, pero es que trabajo, digamos, este, un fin de semana así. Ah, uh, el... ok. So you say I work. I work. I, I work, ¿verdad? Okay. okay, now you, Eric, you ask the question to Ruth Guadalupe. What do you do on weekends? What do you do on weekends? Como, Sunday como, cuál, cuál. morning, I go to church. Excellent. Now you ask the question to everybody's done. Okay, you ask the question to the teacher. Ah, what do you do on the weekend? What do you do on weekend? Ah, uh, Saturday morning, I work from eight to twelve. Okay. And now that we have only in the morning, now that we have uh, discussed uh, that question, we have asked and answered that question. Here we go. And we have this conversation. Listen, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. We have Janet and Cindy. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. Tight means a lot of things to do, okay? Like you are at work, very tight schedule. Uh, on Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, Wednesday. On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings arranges meetings, organiza, prepara reuniones. She's so busy and on the weekends, and on weekends, so imagine that she has a very tight um, agenda, right? Many things to do and she, and she, Janet says, she's so busy and on weekends, so does she work on weekends or no? She, wants more activities for this a new secretary. Once again, good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine, I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who's Katie? Who is Katie? The new secretary. Her schedule, her schedule is very tight, tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She is so busy. And on weekends, okay, so now I'm going to ask uh, Mm, Rose, are you here, Rose? 
Rose. Hello, Rose. Rosa, are you available? The microphone, Rosa, if you are here in this virtual world. Rose, Rose is absent. So, but Carla Daniela is here. Okay, Carla, you are going to read Janet and let me see who else is available here. Mm. Ruth. And I was Rosa, Rosa, and Rosa is not here. She lost the comment. Ruth, you are going to be the other partner, okay? So, uh, Carla, you are Janet and Ruth, you read Cindy. Let's begin. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Ruth, the microphone. Ruth. Hello. Okay, okay. Okay, you are going to read Cindy. Okay, you are going to read this conversation with Carla. Carla, Daniela is Janet and you are Cindy. So you read this part. Okay, begin. Comience a leer, Ruth. Esta parte que eh, está en celeste. Okay. You are uh, Carla Daniela, you are Janet, and I am Cindy. Okay. Let's begin, Carla. Carla Daniela, comience a leer de nuevo, por favor. Okay. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine, I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other day? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she arranges meetings. She's so busy. And on weekends. Okay. And then the conversation finishes. What are you going to do, class? You are going to practice this conversation in the breakout rooms. But here you use your real names. For example, let's imagine Eric and... Uh, and Mario, so Eric says, good morning, Mario, how are you? Fine, I have uh, many th things to do this week, but Katie is very busy, really, who is Katie, okay? The conversation continues because here you are talking about somebody else. Acá están ustedes dos hablando de alguien más, de acuerdo? Y acá you switch roles. When you finish, you switch roles. What are you going to do over here? In the groups, you are going to read the conversation again. You read it carefully and you complete the chart with Katie's information. Also, what other activities you think Katie does in the other days of the week. Acá no se menciona toda la agenda de ella por día. Se menciona unos cuantos. Usted va a completar acá on Monday la actividad que ella realiza, Tuesday, Wednesday, si es que aparece. Si no aparece en algún día alguna actividad, ustedes van a escribir la actividad que ustedes consideran que ella como secretaria podría realizar ese día. ¿De acuerdo? Is it clear? Yes. yes. But, but first of all, you are going to read this conversation in the groups. You switch roles and you use your names. Here, forget about Janet and Cindy. You say Carla or Daniela, Carla Daniela, and um, Noé, to tell you an example, yes? But you are going to make reference to Katie, pero van a hacer referencia a Katie, la nueva secretaria. So I'm going to read it once again, and then you move to the breakout rooms. Good morning, Cindy, how are you? Fine, I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really, who is Katie? The new secretary, her schedule is very tight, muy apretada. On Monday, she makes 
many phone calls later she writes reports about the production and what does she do the other days on wednesday she sends some emails to the bookkeeper and on friday she arranges meetings she's so busy and on weekends okay so let's uh, go to the breakout rooms and you practice the conversation and you complete the activities, okay? For Katie's agenda. Okay, go to your groups. And practice the activities. Okay, let me see. Okay, hey, Griselda, you go to group number three, please. Thank you for being here, Griselda. Mm -hmm. And one, two, three. Okay, Rose goes to group number four, number three. Rose, your group is number three. Hello, Rose. Hola, Rosa, su grupo es número tres. Puede unirse. Ok. Solicitar con. Ok. Who's... Ah, sí. Y si le escuchas ahí en anotar texto, modifica mi pantalla, ¿no? No. <laughs> Después lo vemos entonces. Después le pedimos mm -hmm. ayuda a la teacher. <laughs> ok, the practice, the speaking de practice, the speaking practice. <laughs> es que aquí the son, ah, oh, ok, the speaking, the speaking. <laughs> ok, I'm Janet, ok. I'll be the last one. ¿Puedo hacerlo con Griselda? Griselda, Ajá. Cindy. Hola. ¿Puedo bueno. leerlo de Cindy? Bye. Yo leo lo de Good Cindy. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Good morning, Cindy, ¿no? Good morning. Ah, good morning. Griselda. You have to change the names, okay? Remember that? Yeah, I forgot. Good morning, Griselda. How are you? Usted va, usted va a ser la primera, yo la segunda. Vaya, está bien. Bye. La conversación entre Janet y Cindy, nada más aquí va a ser Eric. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Julisa. <laughs> Julisa. Ok. okay. Uh, good morning, Julisa. How, how are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katy is very bossy. Really well, wow, is Katy, is Katy. The new, the new secretary, <laughs> her schedule, schedule. Okay, her schedule <coughs> is very tight. tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. <coughs> and what do it see uh, do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some <laughs> emails to the brokeeper, and on Friday, she arranges meetings. She is both um, on weekend. Okay, now arranges meetings. She arranges meetings. She is so busy. <coughs> busy. And let me see another one. Uh, busy, yes, Katie is very busy. Really, who is Katie? The new secretary, her schedule, schedule. Okay, her okay. schedule, so what are you, schedule. Now, switch, switch. Okay. Intercambio Yo, uh, okay. 
Vaya, ahora voy a hacer yo. Good morning, Eric. How are you? Fine and have, fine and have many things. Uh, this week. Good, uh, Katie is very busy. Busy. Really? Ah, busy, perdón. <laughs> really? Who is Katie? The new secretary uh, here is sure is very tight on Monday to make uh, my phone, my phone, uh, my phone, say, okay, uh, letter to write report about the production. And what does she do the other days? Uh, Wednesday, uh, she sent song, song email. Uh, the the bus, bus keeper and on French she arranged arranged uh, arranged meet arranges meetings arranges meetings okay <laughs> thank you she is so busy. Busy. busy busy okay she is so busy and on weekend en okay. on weekends con el tono and de pregunta en on, on weekends ok ok en on weekends now the uh, other two partners did they practice ya practicaron los otros dos compañeros no ok go ahead please es continuo yeah. <laughs> Candy hola hola, hola. hola. Eh, ¿Cuál va a ser usted, Joana? Eh, Joana eh, entonces... Kelly. Kelly, Kelly, are you going to begin? Are you going to Janet or Cindy? Janet. Ok. Good morning, Cindy. No, Cindy, no. Good no. morning, Mauricio. <laughs> Good morning, Mauricio. How are you? Fine, I had many things to do this with, but Kerry is very busy. 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 Really? Who he is, Katie? The new secretary. Her is, I no sé cómo se pronuncia, Miss. Is. Schedule. 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 Is very time. On morning, she makes money pong call. <coughs> they, she write, um, write reports about the produce, production. And what do she do the other days? On Wednesday. Se quita la pantalla. On Wednesday. Pero ustedes tienen su manual. Aquí está, lo siento. Ah. On West, Wednesday. Okay. Porque... Buenas, buenas day. No, Wednesday doesn't exist. Wednesday. Remember Wednesday. Wednesday. Hay una letra que no Wednesday. se pronuncia. Wednesday. La, la D, D, la N, when, ajá, la D no Wednesday. se pronuncia Wens y la otra E tampoco. Wednesday no existe, no, no, no. Wednesday. 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 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. okay. Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Sí, son email. 
sent she sent some emails sent some emails very good And on Friday, she arrives. Arrange, arrange, como dice. Miss, how do you pronounce it? Arrange. The verb is arrange. In third person, in third person, arranges, 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 arranges. Porque tercera persona es singular, le agregamos la s. Arranges. Arranges. Arranges, yes. Recuerde que los días que no aparece, ustedes deben especular y, y como ella es secretaria, ¿qué actividades creen que podría ser? Right? Routines. Okay. Attendance. Es atender. Attendance. No. Attendance es asistir a un lugar. For example, attend a meeting, attend a party. Mm. But I want to uh, see. Maybe she helps customers. She talks to customers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Customers. Sí. Uh -huh. She helps. Or assist. Assist es de ayudar, asistir a alguien. Mm -hmm. Pero attend, no. Attend es en inglés que nosotros asistamos a un lugar. Que usted vaya a un lugar, pues attend. Mm -hmm. Y assist es ayudar a alguien. Assistance. Por eso viene la palabra asistente. Assistance. Or assistant. Mm -hmm. Thank you. She assists. Third person mm. singular. She assists customers. She assists. Mm -hmm. Recuerden el cambio que sufre, ¿verdad? En presente simple, el verbo, cuando lo usamos en tercera persona de singular. ¿Ok? What she do? What she did? Así como escribimos, I go to the work. Okay, so, me, me, okay. She goes to the park on Saturday. Go. She goes, goes. Goes. Esta persona es singular. E S. She goes. Goes. Goes to the park. Go. Uh -huh. To the park. She the goes, next day she goes, goes to the church. <laughs> After going to the party, she goes to the church. Pero me interesa Tuesday <laughs> and Thursday. Los dos días estos que hacen la oficina. Ah. Uh -huh. Todavía les interesa la fiesta. Yes, yes. <laughs> no es nada de los días, teacher. No, <laughs> she goes dancing, she goes dancing. <laughs> eh... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Creo que ahí nos puede ayudar Alexandra, que es su profesional. Ah, file, files. Yo no, los fines files. de semana duermo no. hasta las 11 de la mañana. Y el domingo, <laughs> no, de igual Tuesday. manera. Para un Tuesday, what do you do, Alexandra? What do you do? Lo... <laughs> El martes no. que hacen el trabajo. Vaya, los, los martes este, este, se hace una reunión de equipo para, para mejorar. Bueno, okay. cada quien okay. Mejore, okay. ¿verdad? Ok, listen. The meeting uh, No, no. Attends eh. to the meeting uh, of the staff. 
¿ya? Attends to the meeting of the staff. Attends, así. Ok, no. Attends, no. ok. Before the last S, antes de la última S, uh -huh. una letra D, de, de, as in day. Attends to the... Attends to the meeting, meeting, reunión, meeting, ING, ING, ajá, uh -huh. of, o, F, no, 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 ajá, uh -huh. of, no, o, F, o, F, the, the staff, staff. Double F, double F. Double F, not S. Double F. Okay. Uh-huh. And on Thursday? On Thursday. She writes a report, probably. Yeah. Mm. Writes a report. Right. Or sends okay. a, uh, because sends emails is already. Uh -huh. Writes a report. Writes, writes, writes a report. Mm -hmm. uh, so ya lo pusimos también. Where? Donde está writes a report? And Monday. Monday. No. Oh, yes, right. Reports. So, um, yes. in the conversation. Read, 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 read the report. Read the mm -hmm. report. Lee the report. Read the report. Oh. Mm -hmm. Read. Mm -hmm. That was okay. Read a report. Oh, no. no, tú no. Read a report. Read our report. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I see. Read a report. Mm -hmm. Bye, solo nos falta el domingo. El domingo ya lo tiene en Sunday. She goes to the church. No, lo, no lo terminamos. Mm -hmm. She goes to the church. Uh -huh. She goes to the church. Why not? Church. Church. R. No. R. C. C. Uh -huh. C H. Now C H. C H. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Church. Okay. okay very well. Okay. Now let's get back to the main session room. Congratulations. <laughs> you <Okay>. did it. <laughs> Very well, okay. Let's wait a couple of seconds. And here we go. Mm -hmm. Ah, you have a problem with the computer. Okay. We got it. Let's wait. Can listen. Ah, they couldn't listen to you with the microphone. Maybe it is the problem with the internet. Sometimes when it is weak, mm -hmm. but yes, now <laughs> we listen to you perfectly. Congratulations, very well. Okay, everybody's back. So here we go. And now it is time for sharing. So I ask you and you answer because you have the answers, okay? Now tell me, what does she do on Monday? What does Katie do on Monday? 
¿Qué hace el lunes, Katie? She makes make many, phone, many phone, calls. phone calls. She makes many phone calls. Only that. Right. Better, she writes reports about the Write production. Report. Uh, reports about the production. On, on, on Wednesday, what does she do? On Wednesday, send, 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 send some emails. Okay, and on Friday? Um, she arranged arrange meeting. meeting. Okay, and on Tuesday, what does she probably do? Tell me some activities that you consider she might do. Algunas actividades que ella podría hacer. Attend to the meeting of the staff. Okay, she attends a meeting uh, of the staff. And what about mm -hmm. Thursday? Probably, what does she do? Okay, read a report. She reads a report, yes. And what about mm -hmm. Saturday? What do you think she probably does? Well, in <laughs> report. Como reportes semanales. Okay, she writes uh, weekly reports. Mm -hmm. Or reads weekly reports. Okay, very good. And on Sunday, probably she. What does she do? Use your imagination. Day off. <laughs> uh, it is her day off. And what does she do in her day off? Probably she, she gets up late. <laughs> okay. Or. She takes her time with her family. Okay, excellent. She. Uh, she goes to church, maybe. She goes to the <coughs> supermarket. She goes to the beauty salon. Yes. She goes to the spa to have a massage and relax. Yeah. Because <laughs> she has a very mm -hmm. tight week. Excellent. Very well, class. And now here, look at this. At page 21, we have how to use the simple present. Affirmative statements. In the third person singular, she makes many phone calls. He carries boxes into the truck. Cindy sends reports to other companies. It helps workers be on time. My boss talks about the new rules. Negative statements. She doesn't make many phone calls. He doesn't carry boxes into the truck. Cindy doesn't send reports to other companies. It doesn't help workers to be on time. My boss doesn't talk about the new rules. Fíjense que en las afirmativas, con la tercera persona de singular le agregamos una S, ¿sí o no? Cuando el verbo termina, generalmente a todos les agregamos una S, pero hay ciertas reglas. So we say, she makes many phone calls. Acá in the second one, he carries boxes into the truck. El verbo es carry. It ends in Y, termina en Y. Entonces lo eliminamos la Y y la sustituimos por una I E S I E S. Yes? In third person, pero solamente cuando lo usamos con he, she, or it. ¿Verdad? Con tercera persona de singular. And then we have Cindy sends, en este caso no, miren, porque termina en consonante simple, en D, solo le agregas la S. Cindy sends reports to other companies. It help, es the verb, it helps workers to be on time. Ayuda a los empleados a estar a tiempo. My boss, third person singular, it will replace my boss si sustituimos my boss por un pronombre personal sería he or she, ¿verdad? Él o ella, mi jefe. Talks about the new rules. Al verbo talk, hablar, le agregamos una S en oraciones afirmativas. En las negativas, no. En las negativas vamos a agregar doesn't. Y el verbo va en su forma normal, en la base, make. ¿Por qué no le agregamos acá una S, acá no eliminamos la Y y agregamos I y S porque lleva este modal auxiliar, sí, en negativo, does or does not. Entonces, fíjense bien que para las oraciones negativas, usualmente vamos a utilizar does o doesn't. 
doesn't or does not, como usábamos ayer, para el plural es don't, pero acá es doesn't or does not para tercera persona de singular, siempre y cuando no vaya el verbo to be, porque recuerdan que al principio con el verbo to be no utilizábamos does or doesn't, ¿verdad? Porque el verbo to be ya es un modal auxiliary por sí mismo, pero ahora pongámoslo en práctica. Let's complete the sentences with the verbs in parentheses. He, let's do this one, the first one together. He ordered, okay? So we say he, para orders. orders, okay? He orders everything in the office, very well. He orders, now this is negative, number three, not call. So Helen, according to this pattern, we say Helen, doesn't, 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 doesn't call. call. Doesn't call. And the verb we and the verb goes. We use it in the base form. In su forma base. Doesn't call. Okay. And then you continue with number two, four, and we have here again number one and number one. Okay. Don't blame it on me. It is on the book. Okay, so here you have, uh, the last one is, uh, the first part is negative. La última parte de, la última, la, la primera parte de la última oración es negativa, okay? So you follow this pattern. Seguimos estos modelos, ¿verdad? De la grammar. For affirmative or negative statements. Mm Okay, begin, use your manual. And let me see, Carla Elizabeth, are you here? Carla Elizabeth logró ingresar. Let me check. Helen, Jocelyn. She was having problems with the connectivity. Okay, here we go. In number two, notice that the subject is plural to people. Mm -hmm. Even though it is Amy and Theresa, but it is plural. So for plural, do we add S to the verb, yes or no? Teacher. Yes, sir. Se le agrega una S solo a la tercera persona. Yes, that's correct. So in number two, if we say Amy and Theresa, what do we say? In affirmative? Uh, ask. Excellent. Ask. Porque so, es un sujeto compuesto, son dos personas. Two people. It is like if you say they, yes? Amy and Teresa ask for the signatures every day. Signatures, you know the meaning of signatures? Firmas, signatures. And now here, this other one. I write a list with the things we need at 9 a.m. Right. Okay, it is in the base form. Very well, I write, great. A list with the things we need at 9 a.m. And Mario says, number one, Mario, okay? We talk about Mario, it is negative. Okay, for Mario Eduardo. <laughs> what Mario is, does thank you. Okay, very well, you know, doesn't. <laughs> Keep, you know better. 
Mario <laughs> doesn't keep a record of the merchandise he. Okay, the verb is buy. Okay. Buys. We add an S because here we are using uh, third person singular. Yeah. Well, so we have in the first one, he orders everything in the office. Amy and Teresa ask for the signatures every day. Helen doesn't call the design department on weekends. Number one. I write a list with the things we need at 9 a.m. Ah, here, she, number four, affirmative. She cleans. cleans, excellent. She cleans our desks in the morning. Mario doesn't keep a record of the merchandise he buys, okay? <clears throat> Mario doesn't keep a record of the merchandise he buys. So if you notice here, we have a list of the activities that people do at work, yeah? Maybe you, you perform one of these. He orders everything in the office. Maybe you, you order everything in your office, okay? In negative, Helen doesn't call the design department on weekends. I write a list with the things we need at 9 a.m. because they very early you write that list and they supply. Amy and Theresa ask for the signatures every day. She cleans our desk in the mornings and Mario doesn't keep a record of the merchandise he buys. Now here you're going to have an activity you are going to create a conversation with a partner about someone else's daily activities at work. Also, don't forget to mention the activities you do. Let's see, for example, hello, how are you? Mm, I'm going to choose one victim to, to help me because we have A and B. Uh, hello, I, okay, Mario, you're my victim. You are A, you begin. Hello, how are you? Uh, hello, I'm great. I have a question. What do you do on the weekdays? On weekdays? On I, weekdays? Mm -hmm. I, I start, uh, I start work or at 8 a.m. What about you and your partner? <sighs> we... we Oh. We eat breakfast. We have breakfast. Uh, we have in the office. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. We have a breakfast. Before, before okay. <laughs> no, maybe you say uh, we mm -hmm. have uh, we have a breakfast at uh, at the company's cafeteria. Yeah, mm -hmm. at the company's cafeteria, and then I I continue and. Um, do you do you have a meeting in the mornings? No. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do or no, I don't. Yes, I do. Okay, and then you say yes, I do. Okay, very well. See you later. Yes, because we meet. Okay, so simple conversation like this is the one that you are going to create in the breakout rooms, yes? Okay, but before we, we go to the breakout rooms, I'm going to take the second uh, attendance and here we go, Abel. Hello, Abel, are you here? Hello, present. Okay, great. Alexandra Michel, ah, she's back. Just in time, Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Yeah. David is absent. Eric Enrique Vasquez. Where are you, Eric? Eric Enrique Vasquez. Eric. You left us a, a, a picture in the in the in the camera. Okay, Eric Enrique Vasquez is absent. 
Eric, where are you? Okay, um, let's see. Uh, Mr. You know, Merlos is on, mm -hmm, on morning. Ismael couldn't make it today. Griselda, hello. Present. Thank you. Javier is absent. Jocelyn. Hello, Jocelyn. Present. Mm, Jose Mauricio. Present. Julissa. Present. Carla Daniela. Present. Carla Elizabeth. Carla Elizabeth, she couldn't make it. El internet falló ahora. Catherine is absent. Let's say Kaylin. Kaylin. Present. Okay, great. Mario. Present. Mayra Alejandra is absent. No way. Present. Vladimir. Okay. Rose. Present. Ay, okay. Ruth. Present. Okay, now let's move to the uh, breakout rooms and you create the short conversation, okay? And you practice it. Here we go, but I'm going to recreate the groups. Okay, here we go. Go to your groups, please. Join your groups and begin creating your conversation. Ruth Guadalupe, we need you. <gasps> what is it? Ruth, are you okay with your connectivity? Okay, begin, please. Okay. Yo creo que alguien más estaba acá, pero ya le verifico, okay? I need to go to group number four. Bye. Okay. Hello. Ah, you're back. Yes, <laughs> Eddie. You left us a picture. Y hey, no, le falté la asistencia porque no contestó y como ahí la grabó. Hombre. <laughs> ok, tell me, how can I help you? ¿Cómo le puedo ayudar? Déjelo porque es que no tengo carta. <laughs> Vaya, el, la, práctica, la práctica es este, continuar con lo que estaba explicando. Tiene ¿verdad? que cre crear acá una conversación así como lo hicimos con Mario. Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. vaya, veamos uh, con Griselda. Griselda comienza. You are A are you? Griselda, Hello. you are A are you? Hello. Hello. Hello, I'm okay. I have a question. What do you do weekdays? Um, I work uh, from 8 a.m. to 12, uh, to 12, from 8 a.m. to 12. To 12 noon. What about you and your partner? What about you and your partner, Griselda? We? We. Cuando yo le pregunto, what about you and your partner? Y tú y tu compañero o compañera? We? ¿Qué es lo que hacen ustedes? Use your imagination or tell me one activity that you do at work. We go. Uh -huh. for Cheesecake. No, pero es rutina en el trabajo. We go in the, in the, in the coffee break, we go to the cafeteria to buy a cheesecake, a piece of cheesecake. Ok, we, una actividad que usted hace en el trabajo, Gris. We, um, eh, eh, we, ¿Qué es lo que hacen pues en el trabajo? Es que quería decírselo en inglés. Ok, try a sorry for the <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. eh, Capacitación a familias. 
Uh, we train, we train uh, families. We train families. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's amazing. And I tell you, oh, that's amazing. And then you tell me, and what about you? What else do you do? Okay, for example, if you say here, and you, and you, and you, uh -huh. <coughs> what, what else? Mm, what what else uy, what yes. else do you do ¿Qué más haces do you do ¿Qué más yes. haces okay in the office and then for example here i tell you i teach classes because it is my case right i teach classes mm -hmm. i teach Classes. Mm -hmm. Classes. Because here I I said, oh, that's uh, great or that's fabulous, that's amazing, that's okay, you know, mm -hmm. awesome. And then you continue, okay? Okay. Now and later you 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 uh, practice the conversation with Kelly, Johanna, okay? Okay. okay bye. On, on the hey, she does it. <laughs> Mire, pero se, uh, va, va con los compañeros de trabajo, van al gym, at, at noon, al mediodía. Yes. No. Porque son <laughs> actividades en el trabajo. Ah. Uh, <laughs> salimos a almorzar. We we have lunch. We have lunch. We have lunch at 12 at 12:30 at 1 p.m., okay? Eh, ponemos acá después hablamos después de la, del video de un crédito nosotros mentira no porque aquí, aquí, le, o sea, aquí le ponemos vaya nosotros por ejemplo no sé le pueden o sea le podemos poner nosotros tomamos el almuerzo a tal hora no sé we have lunch at uh -huh, uh -huh. yes have lunch uh, at... I have a lunch at 12 p.m. We have lunch with you. Lunch with you. No, oh. Lunch, lunch is con U, no con L. No con o. Lunch. We have at lunch at 12. At 12 noon. Noon. Está bien la 12. Oh. Es que ahora N-O-O-N. -O -O at 12 noon. Double sí. O, two times O, two ah. times letter O. Ajá, sí. a 12 noon, a las 12 del mediodía, quiero decir eso. A ah, okay. noon. Okay, uh, I go to the gym and work. I go to the gym and working, no. I go to the gym and work. In work. Ajá. Yeah, working is trabajando. Pero, pero acá, miren, esta... A is still missing because I go to the gym and work. What about you and your partner? Y tú y tu compañero, we. Acá me tienen que completar esto. O esto que está acá, creo que va acá. ¿Sí o no? Eh, ¿no? Esto eh, de la letra B tiene que ir en la letra A. Porque es we. Ah, okay. Muévalo para acá. Ajá. Ajá we sí, have lunch at noon. Ok. Sí. Um, and here okay. you may close. Oh, that's great. That's fabulous. That's excellent. Okay, see you. See you later. And finish. Short okay. conversation. Ah, okay, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Vaya. Entonces acá le podemos poner. ¿Qué? ¿Cómo oh. le ponemos, niño? Okay. Y solo falta la despedida. Sí. Oh.
See you later. Good to see you. See you later. Or good, good to see you me. too. Good to good. see you. Good to see you too. Good to see you too. Good. Good con una así. Doble O. O O. Ajá. Good to see you. And the other parts? Y las otras partes? Lo de acá. Uh -huh. And also over here in letter B. I blah blah. What about you and your partner? Y acá les hace falta completar eso. Ah, lo de acá. Yo lo hice es, en el... No, no. Esta conversación, es. sí. Les mm -hmm. hace completar la, les hace falta completar B, mm -hmm. the other B, and letter A. Lo solo lo, lo, lo hablamos porque como no había aquí. Ok, write it. Bye. Bye. Lo... Gracias. Hijo, yo I sleep in the class. Exacto. Eso le ahí estoy en clase. <risa> Tiene que ser del trabajo porque están en la oficina. Estamos hablando de actividades de oficina. Ay, qué sé si trabajo. Uh, uh -huh. Analizar datos. Ajá. Uh -huh. I analyze the database. ¿Qué pasó ahí? Analyze. We're sharing the screen. Analyze. We have a lunch. We have lunch at 1 p.m. Um, do you hate eight? eight Healthy. 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 Do you eat healthy? healthy? Do you eat healthy? Do you eat no? Do you eat healthy? Do you eat healthy? Healthy. No, 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 no. Listen. Do you eat? Do you eat healthy? Healthy. Very okay. well. Do you yeah. eat? Healthy? Yes, we do. See you later. Okay, very well. <laughs> now let's get back and share with the class, okay? okay. Here we go. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> Let's wait for the other partners. A couple of seconds. And today, no, it is not here. Let's wait. Okay, who's going to read for the class? Rose and. Okay, or Mario and. Or Carla Daniela and. Okay, class, here we go. We're going to listen to uh, one or two participations, okay? Okay, Carla, Daniela, begin, and Mario, yes? Yes. Okay, be my guest. Please, can I share my screen? Me perdí, sorry. Oh, okay. Yes, you share your screen, yes. Okay, thank you. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm very good. 
I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? I have an English class at night. What about you and your partner? We have lunch at 1 p.m. Uh, do you eat healthy? Yes, we do. Okay, see you later. See you. Very well done, thank you. Great, another group that would like to share with the class. Do we have another group, another team? No, okay. So let's continue and here we go, okay. Let's see, this is what we were doing. And here we have this. Look at do, don't, do, don't. Um, this is about the activities at workplace. Let's read the information about each person's activities at workplace. Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda. What they do and what they don't do at work. Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda. They do. They create software. They repair computers. They install antivirus. The activities that Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda don't do. They don't sell computer programs. They don't exchange information about programs. Now we have Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto. The activities that they do at work and the activities they don't do at work. So Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto, they keep track on the sales, they write reports, they buy new merchandise, the activities they don't do at work. They don't receive money from sales. They decide what to buy, okay? So here we have the activities these two girls do, the activities these two girls don't do. And here we have the activities these two boys do and the ones that they don't do. So now read the information again to answer the questions and compare. I need you to answer these questions, okay? Um, do Oneida and Nelly work with software? Yes, they do or no, they don't. What do you think? Do Oneida? No, they don't. Okay. Yes, they do. Okay, do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? With softwares? Yes, they do. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, do. They create software. Oneida Chicas and Nelly. They they create software. Yes, so yes, they do. Yes, they go. They do. If it was negative, you should say no, they don't. But it is affirmative, so you say yes, they do. Okay. Now you read here the information and you write. Short answers, yes, they do, or no, they don't, okay? But when you read this, you check out over here, and that's it, okay? okay. I'm going to show you this, so you work in your manual over here. And let me see, Jocelyn, where are you, Jocelyn? 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 Jocelyn Roxana? She's absent. Julissa? Yes. Okay, Julissa, um, I need you to stay here with me 10 minutes, okay, after class. Okay, teacher. Okay, great. So class, tell me in number two, do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? Yes, they do. Okay. No, they don't. Okay, no, they don't because they install, but they don't sell. No, they don't. And don't forget the full stop at the end, okay? No se olviden el punto final. Otherwise, it is incorrect. Now, number three, do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? 
Don Ricardo. Uh -huh, over here. Ricardo Mata en Max Pinto. Get money no. from sales. No, they okay. don't. No. No, they not. No, no they, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Short answers. And now in number four. Do Ricardo and Max write reports? Yes, they do. Okay, remember, yes, comma, they do. Okay, very well. And now, do Ricardo and Max repair computers? No, they don't. Mm, no. Okay, so we say over here, negative. No, they don't. And the last one right here, we have two number four, three number fours, four, 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 okay? So do Oneida and Nelly install programs? Mm. Yes, they do. Programs. They sell computer programs. No, they don't. Install antivirus, but not computer programs. So, no, do they don't. No, no, they don't. No, comma, they don't. No, they don't. And that's it. Okay. What did we practice today in class? These are yes, no, yes, no questions. Yes, these are yes, no questions. And what else did we practice? Affirmative? In negative sentences. Excellent, With very well. We, in simple present tense, we practice yes, no questions like these ones. Also, you practice your daily routines, yes, at work. And besides that, we practice the negative and affirmative statements, okay? So tomorrow Thank we're you. going to continue class. It was great to, to have you here. Remember the homework. And I'm going to stay with uh, Julissa for a little bit more time. Have a good night, sweet dreams. And I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take bye. care. Blessings. Bye bye. bye. Julissa, you stay with me, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye bye, people. Julissa. Okay. Here we are, Julissa. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Here we are. Okay, Julissa. Uh, cuénteme. Eh, algo en lo que le pueda ayudar con. Mm, Con el presente simple, con las yes, no questions, affirmative or negative sentences, statements. Eh, creo que con el simple present mm -hmm. no, lo, no lo logro entender muy bien. Mm -hmm. Ayer estuvo conectada toda la clase. Eh, yes. Ok, entonces de lo de ayer, cuénteme qué es lo que... Eh, Aún no comprende. Veamos. Over here. Okay. Simple present tense. El presente simple usualmente lo utilizamos para uh, expresar daily routines, para las rutinas diarias, uh, habits, yes. Habitos. Uh -huh. uh, to describe facts. Para describir hechos. Okay. For uh, future. Uh, but very near future. Okay. Near future. Para un futuro muy, muy cercano. And for generalizations. Estos son los... los Los usos más comunes, ¿sí? Entonces, okay. veamos. Si decimos acá. Mm, cats love milk. A los gatos les encanta la leche, ¿verdad? 
El verbo no lleva S porque el sujeto de la oración es plural. Cats, ¿sí? Es como que dijéramos, they love milk, ¿sí? Okay. Por eso no lleva la S acá. Pero si usted dice, the baby loves milk, al bebé le encanta la leche. ¿Sí? Acá, como ya estamos hablando en tercera persona de singular, sí le agregamos una S. Al bebé le encanta la leche. Then it will replace the baby. Okay. Si sustituimos el sujeto de la oración, que es the baby, escribimos he loves milk. ¿Sí? Okay. Okay. Muy bien. Ese es el cambio que sufren los verbos en tercera persona. If we say she writes reports, le agregamos la S porque estamos hablando de ella, que es tercera persona de singular. Entonces, cuando hablamos de he, she, it, le agregamos S usualmente a los verbos en presente simple. Y luego podemos decir a um, Rosa writes reports, ¿ok? Rosa escribe o redacta reportes. Y en todo caso, si fuera, por ejemplo, we, ah, sería siempre en, write. Decimos, uh, you and me write reports. Ok. okay. Nosotros escribimos reportes, tú y yo. Ahora, si sustituimos you and me, escribiríamos we. We write reports, porque estamos hablando en plural. Ya no hablamos de tercera persona de singular, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, uh, si decimos cats love milk, eh, ahí estamos usando el presente simple, estamos hablando de un hecho. Y de una generalidad también, ¿sí o no? Porque a todos los gatos les gusta la leche. Uh -huh. Y es un hecho real. A eso se refiere facts. Por eso usamos el presente simple. ¿Sí? Ahora, daily routines. She writes reports. Es una actividad que usualmente ella hace. Entonces, es una actividad diaria. Es una rutina diaria. Es un hábito para ella realizar esta rutina en su puesto de trabajo. ¿Sí? She writes reports, Rosa writes reports, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, dicho. Ok, ahora bien, sí. si convertimos estas oraciones a preguntas, ¿sí? Estas statements, uh -huh. ah, pero ok. Estas statements, entonces escribiríamos, Do cats love milk? ¿Le gusta a los gatos la leche? ¿Sí? Y la respuesta sería afirmativa. Yes. yes. They. Ah, no, porque es los gatos. Ah, ok. Yes, sí, they. Exacto. Yes, they do. And if the answer is negative, y si la respuesta es negativa. Yes. No. no, no. Those. They. No. No, they don't. No, they don't. ¿De acuerdo? Oh, okay. So we have an affirmative. Yes, they do. In negative, no, they don't. Entonces, acá tenemos una yes, no question, porque esta pregunta puede ser contestada de forma afirmativa o de forma eh, negativa. negativa. Uh -huh. Pero estamos trabajando nada más con respuestas cortas, ¿de acuerdo? Ahora, si la pregunta es sobre ella, tercera persona de singular, ya no usamos el auxiliar do, sino que vamos a usar das. Does she write? Y acá el verbo ya no lleva la S en la interrogación porque estamos usando el verbo auxiliar das. El verbo auxiliar es do, pero cuando lo usamos en tercera persona cambia a das. Entonces el cambio ya lo sufrió el verbo auxiliar. Por lo tanto, el verbo principal ya no lleva S. Does she write reports? Escribe ella reportes en afirmativo. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta afirmativa? Yes. 
Chi. Chi Zu. No, no. ¿cuál es? en la pregunta, ¿cuál es el auxiliar que hemos utilizado? She does. Excelente. Yes, she does. And now let's change this affirmative answer into negative. Ahora cambiemos esta eh, respuesta afirmativa a negativa. Sería no, she doesn't. Excelente. No, she doesn't. Muy bien, okay. perfecto. No, she doesn't. Ok. Esa era, esa era también mi, mi confusión eh, sobre el don't y doesn't, donde okay. se utilizaba el don't y el doesn't. Ok, muy bien. Sí, esto lo comenzamos a ver eh, desde ayer, ¿verdad? Eh, sí. Con las terceras personas, por eso vimos eh, justo con el verbo to be también, eh, la primera, segunda, tercera persona de singular y de plural, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces... Sí. Vamos a utilizar, fíjese bien, para preguntas y para respuestas negativas, en presente simple, do, we use do with I, you, we, and they, ¿sí? Y luego vamos a utilizar el modal auxiliar y das, únicamente con he, she, it. ¿Sí? Y ahí vamos a ir generando las oraciones. Por lo tanto, decimos, she uh, cries at night. Ella llora por la noche, una bebé, ¿sí? Okay. El verbo sería, fíjese bien, si fuera plural, they cry at night. Los niños lloran en la noche. En esta segunda oración, cry no lleva el cambio, mire, lleva únicamente la Y, pero acá la hemos cambiado por una ah, I -S. E S. Cuando es en tercera persona de singular, el verbo en presente simple afirmativo cambia la Y por I y S, ¿ok? Entonces, en tercera persona, que sería he... She uh -huh. eats. Uh -huh. Veamos. Hey. Y si decimos, the cat cries at night. Si sustituimos the cat, sería it cries at night. Yes. Ok. Muy bien. Y si fuera él, decimos he. He hey. cries at night. Para un niño, imaginemos, ¿ok? Si cambiamos esto a negativo, ¿cuál sería? Fíjese bien, she doesn't, ¿verdad? Porque ese es el auxiliar para negativo, ¿se recuerda? Sí. She doesn't. Acá el verbo, ¿cómo va? En su base, in, no cambia. In, sería she, cry con Y. Yes, okay. correct. She doesn't cry at mm. night. Porque ya dijimos que lo que lleva el cambio es el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Entonces, cry va en su forma normal, en la base natural. ¿Sí? Ok. Ok. Sí, y... ya hoy sí ya entendí más. Ajá. Y ahora sí decimos, you, mm, you love pizza. Te encanta la pizza. Entonces decimos en negativo, ¿cómo pasamos esta oración a negativo? Eh, you, you don't. Excellent. You don't love, love pizza. pizza. Y si convertimos esta oración en pregunta. Do, do you. Or does, ok, very well. Do you. Do you love pizza? Love pizza. Te encanta comer pizza. Do you love pizza? Y la respuesta afirmativa corta, ¿cuál sería? Eh, yes, yes, I do. Yes, no. I do. Cuando te preguntan con you, contestamos con I. Yes, I do. Y siempre el pronombre I va a ir con mayúscula, ¿ok? Si va al principio okay. o en medio de la oración como esta. Y la respuesta negativa, ¿cuál sería? No, I don't. No, I don't. Very well. Excellent. That's it. Now better. 
Mañana vamos a seguir practicando because practice makes perfect. Ok. Ok, entonces, ok. Entonces mañana tal vez se puede conectar de un inicio para que siga, ¿verdad? El hilo y ojalá no tengan problemas con la conexión mañana. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, Miss. Thank you so very much for staying this minutes extra with me. Ok. <laughs> Clarifying some doubts y tal vez pudiera, eh, pudiéramos ver cómo arreglamos el problema de la cámara, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, lo que pasa es de que aún no hay, no hay money para arreglar ah, mi teléfono. Ah, <risa> it is on the phone. Ok, ahí sí. todo igual sin de computer. Creí que era no, en la computadora. No, uh -huh. es que la, compu la computadora es del trabajo, entonces no, no tiene uh -huh. cámara. Entonces es la del teléfono, pero la tengo arruinada. Estoy esperando poderla arreglar. <risa> Payday. Ok, thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good dreams. Bye. bye bye. Sleep well. See you. Bye.